G'day guys, I'm Lee Rayner and a lot of people come into my tackle store and other tackle stores and they go, we want to go fishing and we want to catch a fish. When's the best time to go and how come you guys always seem to catch them? I can tell you now we don't, but one thing you can do is you can pinpoint it down to the key times. It's all about fishing smart, not fishing long. And one of the first things you can do is come to a tackle store. There's lots of good tackle stores around. Come in and grab yourself one or several tide charts. This is the key. It tells you the prime times when you learn how to read them. They're pretty simple. Best of all, because they're free, get a couple guys. I've got one in the car. I've got one in the office. I've got one in the lounge room. I've got one in the bathroom so that when the kids are annoying me, I can go in there and read the tide chart. When you read a tide chart, they're in 24 hour time. They're gonna tell you when the high tide is, the low tide is, but the other thing that you wanna watch is also your moon phases. They show you that, your new moon, your full moon, all those periods, and also the actual tide level. You can see if it's a big tide or a small tide. That can also dictate the areas you're gonna fish. If you're gonna fish in really fast, deep tidal water, you probably don't wanna be there on the really big tides because the water's gonna flow so fast. Fish those smaller tides, less water movement, slower flowing water enables you to fish for longer and the big fish like that sort of stuff. So learn how to read your tide charts and you will definitely catch more fish. Come over here and I'll show you how it's done. First of all, you've got your months broken up there quite clearly across the top. If we look at January straight away, that little circle there indicates one thing and that is the full moon. The black one next to it over here on the 20th that is the new moon. So your two different moon periods and for certain fish will feed at certain times on those moons. But generally leading up to a full moon or leading up to the new moon period is a great time to go fishing. But when it comes to looking at the tides, this is how we do it. They're in 24 hours. So 319 here means 319. When we see 15, 15 here, that means 315 because it's in 24 hour time. Now, if we look at this here, we've got 319, it's a 1.59. The next number below it is 908 or 0908, it's a 0.48. So at 319, we've got high tide. At 908 in the morning, we've got a low tide because it's a smaller number. At 1515, that means we've got a 315 high tide in the afternoon. That is how a tide chart works. But if you want to get just that little bit sneaky on all your mates and you're out there, you've bought the new boat and you want to be catching the fish, you want to go to the right areas, this is what you want to do. Speak to the guys in the tackle store, but then look at your tides. If I look here, if we come down to somewhere like over here, on the 28th of January at 5.22 in the morning, there's a 1.59 high tide. At 11.25, it's a 0.18. So that means there's a lot of water movement. There's over a metre of drop in the water. That afternoon, we've got a 1.47 high tide followed by a 0.48 low tide. So we've gone from almost a 1.3 metre fall there to a one metre fall there. That means that the morning run out tide is gonna be flowing a lot faster and a lot harder than the afternoon one. So if I was fishing deep water for a big gummy shark, say, I'd fish the afternoon tide because it's gonna flow that little bit slower and allow me to fish for that little bit longer. Hope that tip helps. And most of all, don't forget, life's better with a boat.